So glad to hear, so glad to hear. <laughs> All right, let's go another three. <laughs> Just enjoy the process, guys. Enjoy the process. All right, Petrov, personally, I like to avoid it. Um, just keep it simple. I don't want to get into what they're prepared, right? So if you play the Petrov, you want the main nine. Um, I don't have the time to keep up with the theory and so on, so I just get into... Oh, kidding me. D4. Okay, what happened here? D4, D4. I don't think I'm missing anything, right? All right, let's not run yet. Not like this, let's talk. Let's talk. Okay, I think they just got in trouble. This move, we know this from Postal Rush. This has to be crushing. This has to be crushing. Now, the rook in, in Postal Rush, we typically take the rook here. I think we win. I think we win with this. Am I missing anything? Yeah. All right, let me take a look. Because that, that line, I got distracted. Not that I got distracted. That line, I'm not familiar with it. And let me see if I played it. Oop. Oop. Two brilliant moves. Okay, that was just the well-known bishop g6. All right, let me... Okay, here, okay, I'm supposed to take, not supposed to play f3, yeah. <laughs> so I'm supposed, eh, f3, look, f3 is the best move, and they gave it as an inaccuracy. All right, bishop b5 is better. Bishop b5 is better. Yeah, slightly better, all right. Still good, bishop d3, queen d4 better. Castle. And yeah, we know with, with the king out of the center and their king in the center, this cannot be good. It just cannot be good. We don't know how, but we have to be in good shape here. Brilliant move. Simple. I mean, there's, I don't think that's brilliant, but queen h5. And then we have to take. Taking with the rook, I pr I'm pretty sure it was okay. Yeah, winning by 1.79. But this is just too much. And then bishop g5. All right, we got back little by little. Little by little. 